So in the last video we um, started our altered book by making some pages by gluing several pages together in the back and front of our book like so and we also had to go at making this curiosity box page which I have now filled in and we'll get a closer look at that when I do my journal walkthrough. But today we're going to be making some pocket pages. So all we need to do is create pockets like this. So in order to do that, you need one, a thick reinforced page, two loose pages, another two loose pages, and then another thick reinforced page. So what I'm going to do now is just reinforce this page, this bit by putting a Mod Podge or watered down PVA glue on each piece and sticking together three pages together to make one thick page. So that's what I'm going to do to start off. again we need one thick reinforced page which is three pages stuck together one two three four loose leaf pages and then another page with three pieces stuck together so a reinforced page okay so then what we need to do is think about what we want our pockets to look like. So essentially we are going to fold over the top right corner of our first loose leaf page, fold over again the second corner on our next loose leaf page and these pages are going to be, these uh, slips here are going to be glued down this is then going to be folded over here and we're going to stick it around the edge in order to make a pocket so you'll be end up end up with a pocket like this and then we're going to do the same on the other page but the other way round okay and then you'll be left with a double page spread with a pocket on each side but what we need to decide first of all is what we want our pockets to look like now, I'm quite happy with my um, pocket cover looking like this. Um, I think this is a really interesting um, page that can be used. But I don't like my uh, background to my pocket 
So what I'm going to do is um, decorate this page first uh, before we attach the next page. So I'm going to cover my page initially with a, another piece of um, packaging paper. Um, I've just got this from an Amazon parcel and I ironed the sheets out. So I'm going to first of all attach this page and I think I'm going to do that um, with some glue. As you can see this paper is attached now um, and I will be cutting the excess paper off and then this is what my pocket will look like. So I don't need to decorate um, underneath this portion of my pocket because it won't be seen but I would like to decorate this bit here. So I'm just cutting um, all the excess paper off so I'm just left with my sheet. And now I'm going to decorate this page. And to decorate it I'm going to use this um, antiquarian uh, sticker book and I'm going to choose some will, uh, weird and wonderful stickers to go into my book to decorate it. corner and then um, when we close it it'll look like this so what we need to do now is take our first corner fold it so you know where it's going to go glue on one side just on the corner Fold it over 
and stick it down. And then in the same top corner of your next page, we're going to do the same and fold it over onto the paper that's already been stuck down. Like so. So you are left with a thicker pocket and then all I'm going to do now is using some double sided tape is stick around the edge so that we have a sealed pocket. So that is stuck down now and you can use it as a pocket and I'm just going to tidy up the edges with some scissors. So there you have your first pocket and then I'm going to do the same on the other side.
have it. Um, there is my altered book pocket pages. So you can put lots of weird and wonderful items inside your pockets. I just used um, stickers, as I said, from this antiqu antiquarian sticker book. Um, outlined some of the stickers with gold pen. This is a um, a word sh sheet from um, Artie Fox, and it's been laminated and there you have it and I've just left these uh, pages as they are because I liked the image on them so we now have a completed two page spread ready for you to fill in however you want and we have a curiosity box as well so um, next time we'll be doing some basic journal pages in our book. So I hope to see you then. Bye.